What's up everyone, welcome back. The new clutch is finally in, so we're gonna be unboxing that today and showing you guys what clutch I went with. We also have a slave cylinder that I ordered from Subaru that should be here in the next couple of days. And we also actually have the flywheel coming in today, so that's exciting stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and show you guys what's going on behind me right now. So I got a head start this morning and I put the car on jack stands already just so I can get under there and spray everything with WD-40. So essentially what's gonna happen is I'm gonna split this job between a couple of days. So today what we're gonna do is uh, get rid of the intercooler, the starter, everything on top of the transmission that's in the way, and then we're gonna get rid of the downpipe and the uh, cat back. So the full exhaust has to come out, top mount intercooler and everything on top. But before we get into any of that, let's get the new clutch and show you guys which one I went with. I went with the ACT Heavy Duty Performance Street Clutch. Let's see what this looks like. Bam, so we got the new clutch. Looks really good. With the uh, pressure plate on the bottom here. So we got the new pressure plate right there. Then we got uh, both the bearings right here, and then of course we have the alignment tool for the clutch. This clutch was actually recommended to me by Ruben. Um, I think him and Javier are actually running this specific clutch on both their cars. So I'm excited to get this in. Um, it's gonna be a tough job for sure, but I'm excited to try this out and finally get rid of the clutch that's in my car at the moment. Like I said, we do have the new flywheel uh, coming in today. And then also I wanted to show you guys. So. Ruben actually let me borrow this folder and what's in here is a forum, a cop forum printed out um, from 2011. So he did a 5 speed to 6 speed swap on his uh, bug eye and he used this exact forum to do it. So he let me use it. There's a ton of information in here on how to do your clutch. It's literally a step by step process on how to do everything. So everything is circled, labeled, tells you exactly what to do. Um, I think the most difficult part is actually going in there and removing bolts. We know with these cars or with anything, uh, nothing ever goes as smooth as it should go. But thank you to Ruben. Thank you for letting me use this. Thank you for uh, letting me use the tools that I'm using to get this done. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm pretty intimidated by this clutch job. Um, I'm nervous to do it, but definitely excited. This is probably the biggest thing that I've ever had to pull off on my car. And we are gonna pull it off. It's just gonna take some time. It's gonna be difficult but it's gonna be very worth it in the end. I feel like once I do this clutch job, I'm literally gonna be able to do anything on this car. So we're gonna go ahead and get that intercooler off, get the downpipe off, and see what else we run into, but we're gonna get started on that. Oh, and by the way, let me know what you guys think about this clutch choice. Leave a comment down below. Intercooler, you have to take off the stock blow off valve. These are just 12 millimeter bolts, and then you have the two on the sides that hold the brackets that hold the intercooler. And then I decided to take off the inlets from the uh, throttle body and from the turbo. You don't have to do that, but I did that and I covered it with a towel here. Now, once you're in here, um, you have these three wires that connect to the top of the transmission. You want to get rid of those, so I unplugged right here. So you got one. You got two, and then you got your third one over here. So you want to unplug those, and then you have a ground cable right here that connects to the uh, firewall right here. So you want to take that off, and then put a uh, put the bolt back in just so you don't lose it.
All right, there it is. So that's the starter. Uh, this was held in by 14 millimeter bolts that are on the trans. And then you take off the nut right here. And then there is a small, if you look in here, it's a wire. So that one you just pull right off of here. And then your starter is out. Now that I have the starter out, it's a fork release pin. And it's on the side of the transmission here, right underneath where the starter is. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. But you're gonna have to take an Allen socket, which is just a socket and it has almost like an Allen key sticking out of it. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and uh, you have to pull it out. So once you pull that out, you have to take a threaded bolt and I'll show you guys once we get there. I think this might be the last thing I do um, on the transmission today because I don't have the threaded bolt yet. Quick little trick that I just used did was I took the uh, top part of my jack and I just slid it through the ratchet here and you can almost use it like a breaker bar. Just a quick tip for those of you who haven't tried that. So there it is, that's the uh, one I just pulled out and now you're gonna have to go in there I believe with the, uh, with the threaded bolt and then just pull out the uh, the release pin inside of there. The the last thing I'm taking out for today is going to be the exhaust um, for the back part, cat back. I think that's in the way of the drivetrain. I'm not too sure on that, but the downpipe for sure is in the way of the H bracket that holds in the transmission from the bottom. So pulled all the uh, downpipe bolts off from the downpipe, and uh, I just unhung everything from the hangers so all I have to do now is uh, push the downpipe off from the two studs that it has on there and the exhaust is out. I just pulled the gasket for the downpipe I noticed that this bottom bolt was actually missing which is weird but I definitely did have an exhaust leak there so luckily I had an extra one and we're gonna throw that on once we throw the downpipe back on. There it is. So I was too lazy to uh, pull the exhaust apart so I was just able to lift it up high enough to where we could pull it out from the back. So, there it is. I'm so happy with the amount of work that we got done today. We got the starter out. We got the top mount out. We got that transmission plug out. We got the exhaust out, which I'm really happy about. We got all this stuff disconnected up top here. We got that uh, dog bone disconnected. All the wires, uh, the wires for the starter disconnected. Overall, we got a good amount done today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. Like I said, I wanted to split this job between the span of a couple of days just to make sure I'm taking my time with everything. This thing right here, honestly the biggest tool ever. This, I'm literally following this entire thing and it's making this 10 times easier. There it is guys, cleaned up everything, calling it a day. I cannot wait to put in that new clutch. As for today, we are finished. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you think I went with a good choice on the ACT. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up like always. We'll catch you in the next one guys.